Are you tirelessly working towards success, but often questioning yourself if your efforts are enough? Today, in this video, we're gonna be discussing that one trait that I think all entrepreneurs have. And if you have this one trait, I think that you're gonna be on the right path to success. To start off, let's go over how I discovered this trait. The main issue I struggle with when I started, and even now, is not knowing when I've worked enough. I could work for 12 hours a day, be at the computer, making videos, sending out emails, cold calls, it doesn't matter. By the end of the day, I'll always think that there was 10% more that I could have done, sometimes even 50%. I call this productivity paradox. Although it's evident that you have been productive, maybe it could have been more efficient, but you were still productive. You still think that you weren't and you still think that you could have pushed it harder. Now there are some things that you can do about this and today I'm gonna to go over the solutions to that problem. I'm also gonna tell you how it sets you apart from other people, how you can actually see it as a good thing and also how to manage it and not let it destroy you mentally. The number one thing to do is to write down specific goals. These goals, maybe make two to three of them, they have to be things that can be replicated day in and day out. Don't make it follow up with one of my clients or improve service delivery because those things can only be done sometimes. You can't always follow up with a client because what if you have followed up with all your clients? Some good examples are 50 cold calls a day and one YouTube video a day. These are things that I can always do every single day, no matter what. There could be a hurricane and I could still get this done. Every single week you wanna be progressing. Maybe with YouTube videos, you can't upload more than one a day, but 50 cold calls a week, make it 55. <laughs> then 60, then 65, then 70. <laughs> that way, you're always progressing. Because as Alex Hermosi says, if you're not progressing, you're stagnating. And if you're stagnating, you're declining. Something like that. I'll put the clip. So how does this actually set you apart? I get a lot of people in my day-to-day -day life telling me that I've worked hard, that I've worked hard enough. Take a day off, take a break, have a, you know, have a beer or whatever. But personally, I just don't see it that way. Me, I'm always striving for the best. And when other people are telling me that I haven't done enough, I appreciate they're looking out for me. But at the end of the day, I'm just not going to take advice from people that aren't in the position that I want to go to. Some people might call that crazy, but for me, I think that crazy tenacity is exactly what you need to succeed. Look at this in a positive light though. Everyone's telling you that you have worked hard enough and that you have reached 100%, but you've said F that I can go harder and you bring it to 150%. That's some pretty powerful sh I mean, if that's not a sign of success, <laughs> I don't know what is. How to actually manage this. I understand that hustle culture is very normalized, and I think it's been good up until a certain point, but you don't want this to just eat you alive. You need a bit of mental break. I'm not saying to go have that beer, go clubbing, whatever, do stupid shit, but you need to be able to lock it in and understand when you have worked hard enough. By sticking to your goals and writing down everything that you've done at the end of the day along with checking your goals off, this is extremely powerful because it shows that you have worked hard enough. However, if you want to go beyond that, that's when the real success comes in. Because think about it like this, the hardest, the hardest working person that you know being yourself has completed everything to do today and you've went above that. That is when you know wealth explosion is on the way.